Right everyone, so we're back at the Volkswagen today. A regroup, got some wiring diagrams and fuse layouts, everything like that. So the car is shut down at the moment and you can see our amperage draw is still 0.4 of an amp, so that's 400 milliamps too high. So what I thought I would do, I brought out my thermal imaging to just to see if there was anything that was blatantly obvious here. Any heat signatures, but there doesn't seem to be anything there. Uh, cut one of my viewers commented on this connector up here but uh, it's all clean and tight it's actually George replaced it at one time knowing that these were a common issue but that one seems fine so as I say there's maybe these two in the right just showing a bit of heat signature but not apart from that so let's let's move our amps clamp there's nothing on that wire Very little on that wire. Nothing on that wire. <laughs> well, there's a the wire there. So, where does this big thick wire go to? Oh, I would, I would imagine that would go into the the fuse box. Let's go to this last wire. Nothing on that wire. So we're trying to track number well it's one two three four or one two so either goes to the thickness of that wire either looks like a fuse box or the alternator i would imagine so let's just see if our zero ramps clamp so it's five eight so it's just this just this one circuit Right, so what I think I'll do, I've locked the car down. You can see the, the alarm is armed, so I'm going to open this door, uh, lock the door so the car thinks it's locked, and we'll go to this fuse box to see if our issue's in there. Right, so back again, so what I decided to do was open this door, lock the car down. So, but obviously you can't even move the door because it then sets the alarm. But you can see here, the alarm's going off, but it's not actually sounding. So one of my viewers, I can't remember who it was, I'll put it in the edit, he had said about the alarm sounder next to the rear left tail lamp, so it obviously must be shorted out, so I would imagine that's probably an issue, eh, why this maybe got a battery drain, but there you go, that was a quick test anyway, to see the alarm sounder ain't working, let me see actually what my amperage draws, it's still exactly the same. There you go, so it's made no actually any difference having the, the alarm kicking in, so it must be within that module, right. The other thing I was looking at was the fuse box. To see if I could see any feeds there. Oh, there we go. Bingo! See this, George? There's, there's the fuse that's alive there, sir. See that bottom one? Mm -hmm. See my picture? Yes, I. So we're going after... I'll let you see that and then I'll... Oh. Hopefully you can see that. There's the fuse that's going there. It's hot there. But... That's that one. Up oh, there's 2.5 amps. We'll need to work out where that is. Right, so that, that fuse I pulled, I'll need to get the number, I'll put it in the edit. I just put it back in and locked the car. So you can see our amperage is away down to 120 milliamps. Now that's acceptable. Anything under 150 milliamps is great. So <laughs> the car has finally put itself to sleep. Unbelievable. So the alarm is on. You can see that. But as soon as you move this door, that uh, this... This alarm will activate, so... Oh boy. Let me see. We'll go back to that fuse box and see where this draw is. In fact, we'll go back to the main... There we go. You can see that. It is climbing a wee bit. Oh no, it's starting to climb. 
230 milliamps. Now that's not acceptable. So we were good. We're no longer good. Oh, well, we're back down to my bits this meter. 150 milliamps. So let's see if we can see anything in that fuse box. You can see that. Sorry, I'm trying to get in here. Everything seems to be good in that fuse box at the moment. There's something overcooking. But maybe that. There you go, just moved inside the car. Eh? <laughs> right, so what we've done, took the rear cluster out. As you can see in there, there's the alarm sounder. So we noted that was not working. So I've just disconnected the multi plug there onto it. And we're going to put it back together and see what our amperage draw is like with that disconnected. So, two seconds. There we go. So we've disconnected the alarm in the boot and our amperage draw is negligible so we can live with that 90 milliamps so a big thank you to Russell Duncan Russell you're the man you spotted that one right away so you can I'll, just to prove that this is working the alarm is armed so we're all good so it's been that shortened out a uh, sounder alarm horn sounder in the boot so georgie has got another car, so we'll be try switching that over sometime, but at least that's got ready a parasitic draw. So we'll move on to our next problem, and I just, I want you to attack that parasitic draw because I, you wonder sometimes if they're linked, the dash or whatever, but George was saying to me that the dash comes to life as soon as it hits 90 degrees temperature. So it seems to be temperature related, so... We'll tackle that, but at least we've got to the bottom of that one first of all. So, it was on that thickish wire there, and that must feed the fuse box, which then the horn, alarm horn must have been shorting that out. So, brilliant. You can leave it with the battery connected now, George. Right. So, roll into the next one, dashboard. <laughs> 